Hi, my name is Aloy Ochoa uh, from the San Antonio Orthopedic Group and I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about two different types of shoulder replacements. Um, I'm going to talk about total shoulder replacements and reverse shoulder replacements and try to uh, show you some examples so you can understand the difference and what kinds of patients um, do better with each uh, one of those procedures. Total shoulder place replacements are done um, for the majority of patients who have painful arthritic shoulders but have a rotator cuff that is still functioning and it does a great job at relieving pain from that arthritic uh, joint. This is what a total shoulder looks like and essentially it tries to mimic the same anatomy that that a shoulder has. The uh, head is on the humeral side which is on my right side and then the cup or the glenoid is in its native position on the shoulder blade which is what I'm holding on the left side. And once again this is for somebody who has their rotator cuff intact and that allows them to function and raise their arm normally. So for somebody who does not have a rotator cuff intact and has developed what we call rotator cuff arthropathy they also have shoulder pain from arthritis in their shoulder joint. However they also usually have loss of function because they don't have a rotator cuff. And if we went ahead and placed this same type of implant, they would still have limited function, although their pain may get better. So in order to try to regain some of that function that they've lost from their rotator cuff tear, we have to change the biomechanics of the shoulder joint, and that's what a reverse shoulder does. So let me try to show you that with an example. Okay, and this is the reverse shoulder implant. And as you can see, it does exactly what it's called. It reverses the, um, the implant. Now the round portion of the joint or the head is on the scapula side and it's called a glenosphere and the cup instead of being on the scapular side is now on the humeral side which I'm holding on my right side, my right hand. So what this does is it changes the center of rotation to maximize the efficiency of the bigger muscle called the deltoid and allows a person to once again raise their arm above their head even though they don't have the function of a rotator cuff anymore. Both of these implants are going to relieve pain because of arthritis in the joint, but one of them, namely this reverse shoulder, is going to help a patient who's missing their rotator cuff by changing the biomechanics a little bit and maximizing the efficiency of the muscles they have left in their shoulder. Thanks.